The liver is located in the upper right part of the abdomen and is one of the largest organs in the human body. To watch the Spanish version of this video, go to the description box where you'll find the link. More than 500 vital functions of the liver have been identified. Some of the best known are store vitamins, minerals, iron, and sugars, secrete bile, an essential element for digestion, process food for nutrients and energy, synthesize proteins that help fight infections, regulate blood coagulation, which prevents bleeding, balance and produce glucose as the body needs it, and cleans the body of toxins, both those produced naturally by the body, say ammonia, in those we ingest, for example, alcohol and certain medications. For all this, it's easy to imagine that without a liver, it's not possible to live, hence the importance of taking good care of it and detoxifying it regularly. Liver diseases are disorders of the liver that cause it to function incorrectly or to stop working altogether. The main ones include Hepatitis, the most frequent are those of viral origin, for example, hepatitis A, B, and C. Liver cirrhosis due to excessive consumption of alcoholic beverages. Liver disorders due to ingestion of drugs, poisons, or toxins. Amoebic liver abscess caused by the protozoan Entamoeba histolytica. Autoimmune hepatitis, where a person's immune system attacks their own liver liver tumors, which may or may not be cancerous, non-alcoholic fatty liver due to excess fat stored in liver cells, and hereditary liver diseases, for example, hemochromatosis and Wilson disease, in which an abnormal gene inherited from one or both parents can cause various substances to accumulate in the liver and damage it. Factors that can increase the risk of liver disease include high cholesterol, excessive alcohol consumption, exposure to blood and body fluids of other people, diabetes mellitus type 2, obesity, hypothyroidism, transfusion with contaminated blood, exposure to certain chemicals or toxins, and family history of liver disease. Now pay attention because the signs and symptoms that could appear in your body to yell at you that something is wrong with your liver are pain or discomfort in the upper right part of the abdomen, jaundice, which is yellowing of the skin and eyes, abnormal blood vessels in the skin known as spider veins, itch, red palms, bloating and abdominal pain, leg and ankle swelling, dark color urine, pale stools, chronic tiredness, loss of appetite, nausea or vomiting, and tendency to bruise easily. In the presence of some of the symptoms, imaging studies such as ultrasound and CT scans and blood tests such as liver function tests can check for liver damage. The course of liver diseases varies depending on its cause, and if left untreated, it can progress to liver failure, a life-threatening condition. Some liver diseases, especially in their early stages, can be treated with lifestyle changes, good metabolic control, and home remedies. However, others may require medication, surgery, and even a liver transplant if liver failure develops. Let's look at lifestyle changes. The fundamental point in this first line of treatment is to maintain a healthy body weight through diet and exercise. If the patient is overweight or obese, they will need to reduce the number of calories consumed daily. A loss of 10 to 15% of body weight is desirable. To do this, in addition to caloric reduction, it's recommended to do 30 minutes of aerobic exercise most days of the week. For example, walking, running, dancing, swimming, and cycling. Additionally, any medication known to be hepatotoxic should be discontinued. For example, amiodarone, trazodone, diclofenac, venlafaxine, statins, ketoconazole, sulfonamides, and acetaminophen. Naturally, these measures must be supervised by the treating physician. 
On the other hand, metabolic control refers in this case to executing the correct actions to control diabetes and reduce cholesterol and triglyceride levels mainly. Now, there are excellent natural remedies to help a sick liver and keep it healthy. Here they go. 1. Milk thistle. Milk thistle helps reduce insulin resistance, inflammation, and liver damage. Silymarin is one of the most outstanding active principles of this plant, but since it's not soluble in water, it's taken orally in the form of capsules or tablets in an average dose of 400 mg per day. 2. Berberine. Berberine is an active ingredient found in the roots, stems, and bark of various medicinal plants, primarily the berberry species. This component has multiple medicinal properties, but it stands out because it lowers blood sugar in people with type 2 diabetes, regulates cholesterol and triglycerides, and helps in liver problems such as, for example, fatty liver. The most common commercial presentation of this substance is in capsules and it's recommended to take 500 mg three times a day. 3. Omega-3 fatty acids. These products are also very useful in liver disease. The main three of these are alpha-linoleic acid or ALA, acosapentaenoic acid or EPA, and docosahexaenoic acid or DHA. ALA is found primarily in vegetable oils such as flaxseed, soybean, and canola. DHA and EPA acids are found in fish and other shellfish. The dose of omega-3 fatty acids is 2 to 4 grams per day, which can be obtained if fish high in omega-3 fat is consumed several times a week. 4. Boldo infusion. This infusion is an excellent natural home remedy to treat fatty liver and liver inflammation. The preparation requires 2 grams of dried boiled leaves and a cup of water. The leaves of the plant are placed in boiling water, then the preparation is left to stand for a few minutes and that's it. It should be taken immediately after being prepared. It's recommended to consume a cup 3 to 4 times a day. And 5. Artichoke infusion. Artichoke infusion is also a magnificent natural remedy that helps detoxify the liver. The ingredients required to prepare it are 30 to 40 grams of dried artichoke leaves and 1 liter of water. The artichoke leaves are placed in the hot water and the preparation is left to boil for 5 minutes, then strained, allowed to cool, and that's it. It's recommended to drink a cup 3 to 4 times a day. The aforementioned products can be purchased in community markets and specialized stores. They can also be purchased online. Whichever remedy has been chosen, it's recommended to take it for two weeks in a row and then whenever it's required. Even though its consumption is quite safe, as precaution is not recommended in pediatric patients, pregnancy or lactation. At another point, as already mentioned, there are also severe life disorders that must be treated with medication, surgery, or transplantation, in which case the remedies described above are only adjuvants, and the patient should put himself in the hands of a specialist doctor. On the other hand, changes to make to your diet depend on how well your liver is working, but general recommendations include preferably eat foods with carbohydrates, eat fats in moderate amounts, as directed by the doctor. The increase in carbohydrates and fats helps prevent the breakdown of proteins in the liver. Eat approximately 100 grams of protein per day. It's recommended to look for proteins that are not of animal origin, which can be found in beans, tofu, and dairy products, for example. Take vitamin supplements, especially B vitamins and reduce salt intake, as this can worsen the accumulation of fluids in the body and inflammation of the liver. We end the topic with a sample of a specific menu for people with liver disease. Here it goes. Breakfast. An orange, a cup of cooked oatmeal with milk and sugar, a whole wheat toast, strawberry jam, and a cup of coffee or tea. Lunch. 100 grams of cooked lean fish, poultry, or red meat, a starchy product such as potatoes, 
a cooked vegetable, salad, two slices of wholemeal bread, 20 grams of jelly, and fresh fruit. Dinner, 100 grams of cooked meat or fish or poultry without skin, a starchy product, salad, two whole wet rolls, fresh fruit, and 300 milliliters of low-fat milk. Alcoholic beverages, fried foods, and raw or uncooked shellfish, such as oysters and clams, should be avoided. And that's all for now. I hope this video is useful for you, your family, or a friend. See you in the next video.